Russia has accused Britain of being behind Ukraine's remarkable military operation in the Kursk region. Adalbi Shkagoshev, a member of the State Duma Committee of Russia, told Russian media outlets Britain participated in all such sorties. English was heard. According to the Daily Mail, former British military intelligence officer Philip Ingram said the mini-invasion targeted an area where Russian defenses are weak. Ukraine has embarrassed Putin and the Russian military. They've brought the war to ordinary Russians and set the conditions for negotiations. It is too early to tell Ukraine's ultimate objectives, but on the surface it could be a masterstroke if they can continue the advance and hold off Russian counterattacks. He added, Ukrainian incursions into Russian territory have been extremely rare since Russia launched its full-scale invasion in February 2022. Ukrainian MP Oleksiy Honcharenko said on Facebook that while he did not know what the plan behind the incursion was, it would show Europeans and Americans that Russia can and needs to be attacked. Russia's military response to the incursion will be one of Andrei Belousov's first big leadership tests as the country's new defense minister after he replaced his long-serving predecessor, Sergei Shoigu, in May. The Pentagon has expressed no concern regarding the advance of Ukrainian forces in Russia's Kursk Oblast, the Pentagon's press service reports. No, because at the end of the day, Ukraine is fighting for its sovereign territory that its neighbor invaded. So if we want to de-escalate tensions, as we've said from the beginning, the best way to do that is Putin can make that decision today to withdraw troops from Ukraine. Sabrina Singh, deputy spokesperson for the Pentagon, stated when asked about the potential escalation of tensions due to Ukrainian forces entering Kursk Oblast. The Pentagon spokesperson stressed that Ukraine is doing everything possible to continue liberating its sovereign territory and the events in Kursk Oblast fit into this scenario. We're going to continue to support Ukraine with the capabilities and the systems that they need. We don't feel that this is escalatory in any way. Ukraine is doing what it needs to do to be successful on the battlefield, Singh said. The spokesperson emphasized that Ukraine's advance in Kursk Oblast aligns with U.S. policy, though she noted that the U.S. remains opposed to long-range strikes on Russian territory. A container ship exploded in East China's Zhejiang province on Friday, local authorities said. The explosion occurred at the Ningbo Zhoshan port, China's second highest traffic port at around 1.40 p.m. The ship was carrying hazardous goods, Taiwanese vessel owner Yangming Marine Transport Corporation told CNBC in a statement. No casualties have been reported so far and all people on board were safely evacuated. The incident did not immediately appear to significantly disrupt major shipping lines. Surveillance camera video posted online by state broadcaster CCTV showed a huge burst of white smoke followed by an orange and yellow fireball that dispersed debris and completely engulfed containers stacked at least three high. Субтитры